Criminal investigations, including three homicides, have made headline news in the Star City over just the past two weeks. Not only has that sparked concern in the community, but as WSLS 10's Rachel Lucas found out, also with city leaders. She joins us now live in downtown. So, Rachel, you talked with the mayor today. What's his response to all this? Well, John Lindsay, as we speak, Mayor Lee is currently developing a plan to help curb crime here in the Star City. Now, I sat down with a one on one interview with him today in his mayor's office, and this certainly isn't something he's taking lightly. In fact, he said it's time to tackle the issue head on. A homicide investigation of a missing woman, while another still remains unfound. The death of a man killed in an armed robbery, violent crimes and headlines that have Mayor Sherman Lee taking notice. We're concerned with what's going on. It's troubling when you see the shooting, the senseless shootings that are occurring in uh, our community and the violence against women. Not even halfway through 2017, police in Roanoke have investigated six homicides. This time last year, there were four. Statistically, we're on track to outpace Roanoke's homicide average rate of nine people a year, and it's only May. But I'm just really concerned with the senseless violence that has taken place and the amount of guns, the people that are walking around in this community with, with guns and most of them are illegal guns. Data shows more violent crimes happen during summer months as more people are outdoors. Mayor Lee tells me he's working on a plan with Roanoke City Police to help curb that violence. That includes revamping a domestic violence task force as well as community youth programs like the one created in the Melrose and Southeast neighborhood that dropped the crime rate in that area. Lee wants to take action now to avoid violence becoming a social norm. And Mayor Lee says he wants more lives saved in the future. That I don't want our community and I don't want the criminal justice system here to become immune to what's happening. And Mayor Lee says he wants more lives saved in the future. Now, I've heard a lot of concern from the public about this issue, and now we want to open this conversation up to you. I've posted a thread on our Facebook page, WSLS 10. You can visit us there to join in on the conversation. Live in Roanoke City, I'm Rachel Lucas, WSLS 10.